Well, good morning and happy Thursday. We are uh, working our way ever so slowly through Paul's letter to the church in Philippi. So a lot of Bible study is just observation. It's just looking again and again. You may know that some people have very acute observation skills. Uh, and other people cannot find their glasses when they're on the top of their head. Some people notice that the person in the booth in the restaurant across the way has socks that are two slightly different shades of blue. And other people don't observe that the car keys they can't find are in their hand. Uh, I'm not sure which category you fall into, but we are observing and we are going back to 14 words that occur over and over in Paul's letters. There are 14 introductory words found in his letter to the Romans and First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philemon, and Philippians. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We took the second half of that uh, yesterday and also the first word, grace, uh, which I said is unmerited, unconditional, unlimited love and favor of God extended to us because of who God is. So the second word is peace. And it, in Greek, it's the word Irene, Irene, which gives us the English word Irenic, peaceful. Uh, my mother-in-law's name is Eileen. Uh, everyone would call her Irene, and so she was always correcting them. And sort of as a joke, her husband, my father-in-law, just started to call her Reen. Uh, so not Eileen, but just to call her Reen. So that's what everyone calls her now. And as I was working my way into the family, coming to call her Reen, as everyone else was, uh, I said, uh, look, here's the good news. In Greek, this mean word, this word means peaceful, right? Calm, collected. And it's a good thing. And it grows. That, the, the, the peace that, that, that uh, Paul is hoping that we have is a, is a complete well-being. Uh, the Hebrew word here is shalom. And when someone is wish, wishes you shalom, it's not just peace in the absence of war, but it's flourishing, well-being, everything that, all the good that could go into uh, peace is implied there. And people, of course, would pay a whole lot of money for that kind of peace. The ability to be at rest, the ability to not be anxious, the ability to sleep through the night. What is that worth? Uh, well, so it, it is wished here on us. Um, not in the sense that the Stoics knew peace, which is I'm at peace because I just don't care about things. I'm detached from things. All that matters to me is virtue. This is a peace that comes out of a sense of well-being with God. And uh, that's primary, but I think also a sense of well-being for us in light of eternity. So, um, look, Paul's writing about peace and joy and grace from prison. So he's writing about peace during anxious moments. And um, these are anxious moments, perhaps, for you. Um, all the challenges of COVID in this pandemic and unemployment and health and concerns for yourself and your family and others that you love. So I want to I wanna wish you God's peace. This is what Paul is driving at, big part of what Paul is driving at in this letter. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May you have an ironic day today. God bless you.